A building is a dynamic entity. In the morning, the east part of the building gets hammered with solar gain as the sun rises up in the east. As the sun shifts over in the later part of the day, the west rises up in temperature. But the HVAC system is set up for a static set of conditions. Wouldn't it be great if you could move the conditioning air to parts of the building that needed it the most? And that's exactly what we should be striving to do. What we would do is take temperatures coming in from different parts of the building and load it to servers in the cloud. Every night we could crunch this historical data and create a thermal model of the building. We could then look at the forecast weather and predict in advance how the building is going to be behaving. We could figure out an optimal control strategy and send that back into the building and that would proactively modulate the dampers to shift the conditioning air to parts of the building that need it before the temperature errors actually occur. So what we could do is in the morning we could open up the dampers on the east side of the building to start pushing in the air over there to compensate for the increased thermal loads. As the sun starts shifting over to the west, what we would do is open up the dampers on the west side and start pushing in cooling over there to proactively compensate for the thermal loads coming up over there. The system would continuously learn and adapt to changes in the weather and the thermal loads within the building. The results are what we call dynamic airflow balancing with far more even temperatures without the use of bypass dampers or zoning dampers.